हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो एज वी स्टिल वेट फॉर काउंसलिंग यू नो लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर आस्किंग मी क्वेश्चन अबाउट यू नो डिफरेंट स्पेशलाइजेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर राइट सो आई थॉट मेकिंग दिस वीडियो एंड ब्रिंगिंग सम क्लैरिटी इन ईच ऑफ दो स्पेशलाइजेशन एरिया आई हैव मेड सम ऑफ द वीडियोज अराउंड ए आई एम एल फॉर बी टेक जनरल एंड साइबर सिक्योरिटी सो इन दैट सीरीज आई एम मेकिंग दिस एन अदर वीडियो सो एज वी नो देर आर लार्ज नंबर ऑफ यू नो कंप्यूटर साइंस स्पेशलाइजेशन ब्रांचेस आर अवेलेबल इन कर्नाटका एज वेल एज अक्रॉस इंडिया राइट सो सम ऑफ दिस यू नो राइट कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग सी एस सी वन द कोर्स वन is the most popular one and then there is an another flavor of it called cst which is computer science and technology which i will cover in some other video deep to deep then the course 3 is around btech computer science in cyber security and similarly there is a btech computer science with iot and btech computer science with artificial intelligence and machine learning and there is a btech computer science with blockchain then you also see btech computer science in devops devops is nothing but development operation so some of this which i have not covered i will cover in some video other videos so continuing from the previous list you know then there is a b btech programs in big data there is a btech b program in data science and then there are further more like data analytics specifically b computer science and then there is a b btech program which is also available in different a type of you know cloud technology and the mobile applications and then there is a cloud technology and information science some colleges have this branch not all the colleges have this cloud technology and information science and then there is few universities which have a mathematics and computing right btech with mathematics and computing like ms ramaya university of applied sciences and then few of them has a computer science with robotic pro process or automation right which is also called auto rpa right so So, so these are different specializations of computer science, and I am going to cover specifically in this video about the row number nine, which is you know data science, computer science with data science. So let's quickly understand you know what is data science, right? So if you see computer science and IT, which is on the left side, has a lot of you know components like machine learning, data science, and software development. Similarly, when you are studying mathematics and statistics based analysis, right? For that, you need a some amount of machine learning, lot of data science, and traditional search. And when you are studying a domain or business in specific. Uh, you know knowledge set right there also you may use data science software development also to some extent and traditional research right so if you see data science is basically intersection between three fields of computer science maths and statistics and the business or the domain a specific application so what exactly you study in data science is basically this 8 to 9 circles right so i'll start from the top very easy to understand right and because you have done some amount of statistics right so statistic modeling is a part of data science right how you use statistic median mode average which what you studied in statistic in somewhere is used statistical computing is part of it data technology how you you know maintain data data research part of it data consulting part of it you know how you consult how you basically assess data how you basically refine data and then real world applications are part of it and all this you do with the scientific methods right which is the blue circle and then at last you present it in the visualization form right so that is how i cover it you now from the statistical modeling computing to a last part which where it is available for visualization on the dashboard is all data sciences so what are the benefits of you know doing a btech b in computer csc with data science right so i'll tell about the five main reasons why it is so good right so first is that it is in huge demand right so there is a great demand of data science professionals across all the multinational companies right be it india or outside india so there are prospective job seekers who are going for btech in data sciences or even bsc honors in data sciences they will have good number of of opportunities right so just as a fact that you know the linkedin is the highest biggest professional you know networking website so in the linkedin itself it is the fastest growing segment so linkedin is the one of the biggest employer of data uh, you know data sciences right and that is the biggest level job and similar in many other big companies right so there will be 11 million jobs right 11 million jobs means 1 crore jobs 1 crore jobs will be created by 2027 and that is why data science is so important 
Now let me go to the second reason why. Is the second is the abundance of job. There are large number of jobs are available today in data sciences, and there are only few people who have the knowledge in those fields, right? So somebody who has studied maths or statistics in the past to a deep extent are the people who are currently working as a in the different data science position because at that time B Tech data science was not there, right? So now it is there. So the next third reason why data science is very getting popular is the highly paid career, right? Because it offers multiple, you know, job profiles and uh, uh, it provides for different higher salary packages. And I will cover this salary part at the later part of this video about different roles and what are the salary you can expect in that particular role. Now the fourth reason is the data science is versatile. That means the application of data science is there in every industry which is healthcare, banking, consulting, e-commerce. So it's not going to die and it will be uh, flourish more and more, right? And the fifth reason is the data scientists are highly prestigious. And from the respect perspective, perspective in an organization, data scientists are considered as a very highly prestigious job and they command a very important positions in the organizations. So these are basically the five important reasons, right? Why data science is in so demand and it is going to grow much more faster, right? Compared to others. And now the roles, right? So if you have studied data sciences, then based on the different, you know, knowledge, what you have as a strength, that type of role you can get, right? For example, math, statistic, algorithm, uh, you know, as one part of it, it will have software engineering, one part of it, and the data communications as a one part of it. So if you are good at, say, data communications, then you can become a data scientist or data analyst. Similarly, if you are good at software engineering part of data, then you can become a data engineer or data scientist. But if you are good at math, statistics, algorithm, then you can become all three, that you can become all three, data engineer, data scientist, and data analyst. So that is the way roles on the very high level, but I will also come each of them right so now uh, if you see the first role which uh, top companies recruit is called data analyst right so if you see a as a data analyst you are responsible for performing tasks like you know pulling data out of you know any database any database can be sql database or any other data visualization and reporting dashboards so these people data analysts are going to work with the data pulling you know and preparing it on the dashboard and they have to do a lot of testing with this data sets right so they are, that is their role and what is the salary they can expect as a data analyst starting salary six to eight lakhs per annum is what you can expect as a data analyst now the second role you see is a data engineer right so data engineer is a responsible for for just performing batch processing so it does they don't don't do much bigger things but they just do a processing of batch processing of you know data and because of that you know they were able to maintain and build data pipelines right which will be used in some other places so this is the basic part of the data engineer role right which is called data engineer and there your salary will be four to six lakhs per annum or per year basis right now that this is the most important role right in the data scientist right that is the very prestigious also the data scientists are required to find and clean the and organize the data for companies so their task is much more because they work on the algorithm part of it they analyze a very large amount of complex raw data which is the not refined data it's a raw data and then create a processed information about it and that's why they their minimum starting salary will be in the range of seven to nine lakhs per annum so so that is the next level of a data engineering or the data analyst role which you have seen in the previous uh, slides right so this is the next level of now further higher right then if you have a very good idea about algorithm you know everything part of it then you can actually become a machine learning engineer right you can create data funnels and you can deliver big size you know software solutions uh, and it, it mix of your statisticals your programming skills your software engineering skills and lot of other skills right and so this to this particular professionals will actually get paid more than any of others 
so you can see clearly that in this type of profile the minimum salary is between 8 lakhs and it can average go to 15 lakhs per annum and this is for the starting you know salaries like for the freshers and or maybe one or two years experience right so so as you further grow on in this uh, you know profiles right a machine learning or aml engineer right your first for salaries further go up to say 40 lakh 50 lakhs and above as an individual contributor so overall these are very an uh, attractive career options and uh, you have to be you know follow a uh, good amount of you know self awareness about these solutions products and then be uh, you know confident about you know processing or you know working with data and then you will, you will become basically a leader in this particular science, right? So that's all I have to cover. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe to this channel to get similar updates. About other CSE specializations, I also I will cover in the later videos.